Hello everybody and welcome to another gay let's play Jade Empire. In our last episode, uh, we ended up exploring the necropolis, um, where we had a number of side quests to go take care of. Um, if you can hear that moaning in the background, at least there was moaning in the background, here we have a poor father and his daughter, um, his ailing daughter, She's she has a liver, poor thing, she has a liver that um, is failing and he wants us to try to help her out. So that's one of the quests that we're going to be doing today. We also helped out that little girl, Jin Lin, um, I think she was a girl, who needed us to get something from some tomb and it was a pretty lengthy battle but we finally after much much perseverance we finally managed to defeat the files sp the file spirits in the tomb and, oh speaking of vile spirits didn't i defeat you guys already getting ridiculously old ow tired of beating you guys up again and again and again. Can't you just die? I mean, not, well, not necessarily die because you're already dead, but you know what I mean. I'm really glad that I, that I, uh, increased the speed of the basic attack of this form. I'm just gonna keep headbutting this guy. Oh. There you go. Alright, as I was saying, let's continue on in the necropolis. Oh wait, these are the I think these are the ghosts that groundskeeper Willie wanted us to get rid of, but I feel like I should talk to them first before I do that. Please bring me my baby. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the woman who had uh she she had she died um during childbirth. Well, she died while giving child birth. You know what I mean. Uh, hello? My baby, please, where is he? Where has Shen taken him? Shen? What has Shen done with your baby? He took him from me. And after so little time, he was only a few moments old when that monster ripped him away from me. I kind of knew it, actually. Please find my baby. Bring him back to me. Let me know how he's doing. I've I've figured that I figured that um groundspeaker groundskeeper Willie was hiding something. Um I I didn't particularly trust that guy at all. Um Your baby was a boy? Yes. My darling little boy. He was so pretty when he was born, and so quiet too, with his blue little face. Please, you have to help me find him. Shen must know where he is. That abominable little man took him from me. Kill him, torture him, whatever you need. Just find my baby. Yeah, because two wrongs make a right. But in, in this case, I think Angelus is going to, you know, lean more towards helping out this woman. Uh, I'll speak with Shen. Find that hideous little man and bring the truth out of him however you can. I don't want to say your baby's dead because I have no reason to believe anything that Groundskeeper Willie told me. So... He, he could have been lying with me for the whole time. You gaze upon the, the Chan family plot. There are four tombstones here. Look at the first tombstone. Chan Han. Chan Han, loving mother, devoted to her three children. Second tombstone. Chan Li. <gasps> Chun Li is buried here? Oh, poor Chun Li. Chan, oh, Chan Li <laughs> is a boy named in honor of the glorious strategist. Okay, okay, it's not Chun Li, it's Chan Li. The third tombstone, Chan Ding Sheng. 
Chan Ding Sheng, founding father of the Resplendent Sun. And the fourth tombstone, Chan Tu. Chan Tu, named in honor of his uncle Tu Dei. Tu Dei? Ha ha ha, that's, that's cute, Tu Dei. Very cute. Um, and who do we have over here? Is, is someone there? Um, hello sir. You, what do you want? Have you come to torture me more? Have you come to see me suffer here unavenged? No one cries for merchant buy. So you are Merchant Bai? <laughs> you know of me? You've heard about the pains I suffered in life, and this continued torment I have to endure in death? Well, tell me what's bothering you. You, you can understand? You don't run in terror like the rest. Instead, you talk to me. Perhaps you can help. I'll give it a shot. I was a merchant in life. Not a rich one, but I made enough to survive. I sold mostly to the poorer sections of the city. My goods weren't the finest, but they were practical. At the time, there were a pair of brothers, Si Tzu and Si Ran, who were the terror of the streets. They extorted money and goods from everyone. They tried to extort from me. Okay. S what did you do? When I wouldn't give them what they wanted, they... They decided to make an example of me. They killed me and mutilated me and left me dead in that alley. That's not... that's pretty harsh. They terrorized the city for weeks after that, but they were finally run down. That might have been where it ended, just as done, but it wasn't. How so? They were buried here, with me. Their deaths execution by beheading were harsh enough that they have risen again. My spirit cannot rest quiet with them here. Even now in death, they mock me and torment me as they did in my final moments of life. They drive me mad! Uh, we can't have that then. If I help you, will you rest peacefully? Yes, yes! If my killers are at least removed from this world, their spirits will no longer torment me. You, you must find a way to defeat them and drive them from this place. That might be tricky. They were common criminals, so they were not given a normal burial. They were dumped in a communal grave underground to the south. I'm sure you can find them. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, stranger. If you can truly help me, if... if you do, I'll show you something that even Shen hasn't found yet. I'm interested in that. Cool. Alright, so before we go into this building, I want to check out what's over here. Because, like I said, I'm using my left-handed rule, since I'm left-handed, to check everything on the left first. Because I don't think we've... I don't think we've gone through this way before, have we? Nope, this is all new territory. Um... What is this place? Wow. That's a little, that looks like it's a long way down. According to the map, this is the unfinished bridge. All right. What's that over there? This looks like a two dragon heads. I have no idea what that is. That might be the palace even. I'm not positively sure. But let's continue down this path over here because it's also unexplored and I just I just want to see what we got. Um what? Oh. <gasps> hey, that's Sue. Oh my gosh. Zoo did you just see that? Hey, Sky. Wait. I couldn't just wait with the others. I'd have worn a trench with my pacing if I didn't talk to you. Sure, Sky, what's up? What's on your mind? Regarding our little talk earlier. I couldn't let you go into that place without saying something. Oh, well, what do you want to I've say? I've never encountered someone like you before. We are companions fighting for our lives together, but we could be more. Ooh! I don't want to talk about it at length right now. You have more pressing things to deal with. But after... after you're done, 
we should talk. I would definitely like that. Although this is kind of... This is kind of awkward having this conversation with um with OnStar right over there. Uh hey, hi, hi OnStar. Well, yeah. Uh surprise. Yeah. I uh don't quite uh don't quite swing that way. Surprise. <laughs> Hopefully that um that explains a few things. <clears throat> Hopefully. Um I look f I'll I'll look forward to that sky. If anyone can deal with their kind, it's you. But that doesn't mean I could let you go in there without speaking up. Aww. Just be careful while you're in there, and don't let them get to you. Remember why you're going in, and get out as soon as you can. Um. I'm gonna be a little coy. You sound like you're worried about me. I am. I just have a feeling that something big is going to happen in there. Oh, really? Huh. Zoo's sudden disappearance has me worried. I was beginning to think we could trust the man, but... The assassins can be most persuasive. I haven't given up on Zoo yet. Who's to say Zoo isn't preparing a trap for you to earn back favor with his old brethren? Um... I've come to trust Zoo. He won't betray me. I hope for everyone's sake that you are right. Hopefully my instinct is wrong. Regardless, I've said my piece. Come back safe. We wouldn't want to miss our audience with the Emperor. I understand. I understand, Sky. Alright, well before... I, I guess I don't want to go into the fortress yet. I know that Zoo just went in, but Angelus is going to think... He's going to do whatever he's going to do. And for right now, I have some loose ends I need to take care of before I actually go into the temple, into the fortress. So I'm going to wrap up these other quests. We're going to go and check this thing out. I have no idea what this is. Was there a door down here? Nope, that's a statue, not a door. What is this place? Huh. Dancing pretty lights. There's fire in the air and fire inside. They scream like music. Thank you, Flemeth. You'll scream like a demon when Fading Moon puts the light inside of you. Uh, nobody's putting anything inside of me except for... <clears throat> Um, I'm I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Um, it's always harder when they're insane. I'll wager. None of us are alive anymore. Not until the lights dance with us. You'll scream like those maggot people leeching off the empire until they burn. Fireball. Oh, okay. Well, here we go then. Smack, smack, smack. Smack. Smack, smack. Oh, alright. Headbutt. Come on, honey. I'm not afraid to hit a girl. There we go. Gem of pure flame. Huh. What is a gem of pure flame? Mind plus three. Seriously, only followers of the way of the open palm may use this gem. So why was she... Are you telling me that she was a follower of the open palm? I don't know about that. Otherwise, why would she be carrying this thing? Flame can destroy, but it can also purify, burning with inner fire and zeal. Users of this gem find themselves more focused in battle and better able to tap their spirit reserves. Okay, it's okay. We have a scroll stand. The Nature of the Spirit, Volume 4. It is said in the journals of the lost monks of the Jinzi sect that there are spirits of every desire. By summoning that desire within themselves, men can com commune with the spirit, summoning it, summoning it to them. I can't imagine what kind of spirit must have been summoned in the, dar in the dank of that mine. Darkness on all sides, only the slight flickering of that lamp. A great unknowable fear welled up within me. 
Those ancient monks knew too much, I think. They communed with their own dark desires too often. In that place, I too faced my fears. The circumstance and research that led me to that point scarcely prepared me for what I faced. The dweller in the depths spoke to me. Alright, 1,131 XP. Woo! Alright, OnStar. The unfinished tomb. What are we doing in here again? Oh, wait. Oh no! OnStar! The door shut behind me! No, I'm by myself! No, no! Oh, wait a minute. OnStar, come. Stop fooling around, OnStar. I. OnStar! Alright, fine. Stay in there. Maybe I don't need your help. Oh, never mind. She she was able to uh, open the door herself. Alright, good. Spirit font. I definitely needed this. Restore my health and my chi. And is that a secret door over there? Is it? Um... Am I supposed to be... Am I supposed to be doing something in here? Be careful in the Lotus Assassin Fortress. Very well. There's nothing... There's nothing... Hmm... Maybe... There's nothing here for me just yet. Defeat Bay's Tormentors. She will not rest until it's found. The baby. Speak to Dr. An. Okay. Um, and then... The Fearful Ghost. No, the Vengeful Ghost. Ma Mr. Reen. He can be found somewhere in the Necropolis. Okay. I have to find a Vengeful Ghost as well, and I'm not sure if it's in this tomb or if it's somewhere else, but... Anyway. I guess we're gonna keep looking. Um... Let's see... Alright, we've already talked to Merchant Bai, we've already talked to Miss Chan, there's probably going to be some ghosts popping up in here somewhere. Yep, I called it. Oh, here's the Tomb of the Masses. This must be where those headless ghosts are. Hey. You're not headless. Ah, look who has come to see us. A mortal, then? Shall we feast, brother? Oh, th this must be them. Feast? Yes. I want to hear his screams as I tear the skin from his bones. I'd like to see you try it. Oh, okay. Come on, brothers. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. What you got? What you got, huh? Come on. You think you got this? You think you got this? I don't know about that. Two against one. That's hardly fair, but whatever. Now, I'm not sure if defeating these guys will actually keep them away from bothering the merchant, but uh, we'll see. Alright. Well. Alright, Angelus. I know you really want to break this. That boss was trapped. Interesting. Sixth sense. The sixth sense? Int intuition plus eight, charm minus three, intimidation minus three. Never has a man or woman had greater greater fortune than a lo lowly farmer named Je Jun Bin. His mother gave him an amulet on the on the day of his birth, and he only removed it at the end of his life. He never knew misfortune, and indeed he could not understand it when the others tried to explain it to him. He was kind but distracted, neither loved nor hated. 
the evils and ills of the world just never touched him, as if he was always in exactly the right place to avoid danger and harm. Such goes against the order of the heavens, though, and one time he removed the amulet. The heavens struck him down. Wow. Maybe I won't put on that gem. Maybe I'll just leave that alone. Trap! Oh no, I'm stunned! Oh, it hurts, it hurts. But now I'm fine. And another explosive vase. Inferior warrior gem. I guess people caught wind that there was this maniac who was out to destroy every single vase he found and decided to trap, you know, set traps. That must, that makes sense to me. Alright, where is the vengeful spirit? Is he still... At large. Oh, that might be the vengeful spirit. I'll have her head! Sir. That cheating, lying sow! Sullying the red name and dragging it in the dirt like this! Putting me in the dirt! Ren Fang, if I ever get my claws on you, I'll leave you a stinking, bloated corpse! Why does Ren Fang sound familiar? You must be the Mr. Ren I've heard about. You? You've heard of me? What do you know? What do you want here? I have no time for idiots who only want to rob my grave. No, no. Relax. That's not why I'm here. Um... I don't know anything. Tell me. I exist only for revenge. Revenge on my wife, who after so much talk of faithfulness and love, decided she would be better off without me. She killed me! Wow, that's pretty extreme. Poisoned me in my own house when I find her. Um... You should learn to let the past go. How can I let the past go when my very reason for existing in this world still is her? She was everything to me in life, and is so in death as well. Alright, so what do you want to do? Tell me what happened. We'd been having fights, my wife and I, and she decided to end it. I sat down to eat, and the next thing I knew I had choked to death and ended up here. Choked to death? Wait, choked? That whore decided that I wasn't good enough for her. That she would just move on to something else after our years of marriage. She'll pay. Oh yes, she'll pay. Hold on, wait a minute. But I have to find her first. Oh. Most likely, she's still at our old home. It's in the market district near the entrance to the Black Leopard School. Find her, and bring her to me. Okay, wait a minute. Sh you're saying that you started choking, and that automatically meant that she tried to kill you because you started choking. Uh, I think I need to go talk to the wife. A cluster of graves lies before you. Read one of the inscriptions. Harlot whose name shall be cursed forever. Ya Pin. Ya Pin. Huh. Gravestones. A cluster of graves lies before you. Read one of the inscriptions. Cursed forever in death. The unnamed one. <gasps> Hughes must not be named. That's death's hand. I'll, although I don't know if we're talking about death's hand. Um. Yes, I figured. Come on. Iron Palm is really pretty cool. Very nice. Alright. Good, good, good. The nature of this... Have I already read this one? No, I haven't, because I got XP for it. The nature of the spirit, volume 3. The folk tales surrounding the disappearance of the monk did not disturb me. The mines had been inactive for a century or more, and the surrounding villages had long since decayed. Any spirit that fed upon humans, or human emotion or pain, would have left in search of easier prey. Or so I had thought. As I searched for the moss spirit that had brought me to the depths of that mine, I began to wonder if the legends were true after all. If the spirit, or whatever it was, that had driven away the miners could reside there still, in my mind, I began to hear the whispers in the dark, and the screams and cries of those who lost their lives ages ago. Okay. 
And where did I come from? Oh no. Oh no. I'm not sure which direction I came from. Oh, well I guess it doesn't... Yeah. Exit the city. I'm gonna go... Um... Yeah, because this takes me back... I think this takes me back to... Groundskeeper Willie? Yes, it does. Alright. Groundskeeper Willie, you and I need to have a chat about this baby. The grave digging business sure is a killer. <laughs> oh, boy. What do you need? Your head on a pike! I mean... Um, I want to talk about one of your troublesome ghosts. What about them? I already... Tell me more about Miss Chan. Ah, Miss Chan. A tragedy, really, and one that happens all too often. It's always the pretty ones who go. Yeah, let's get to your baby. Let's get to the baby. She died in childbirth, and, and the baby died with her. Her family put her in the family plot along with her son. She came up again recently, looking for revenge on me. She seems to think that I killed her baby, or took it, or, or something. Maybe she saw me take away the body, but she won't believe me. Every time I go near, she tries to kill me. I wonder why. That's valuable, Reet. Tell me what you know about the ba her baby. Her baby? Not much. It's in one of the plots there, I'm sure. You can find it if you look. Hmm. Uh, it was a long time ago. I, I don't even remember what its name. Hmm. But it was short, I know that. Definitely less than three words. But... Sorry. Anything... Can I not... Uh, is... Wait a minute. <coughs> what does the journal say again? I... I thought I had to talk to him about something. You must have... You have met the ghost of Miss Chan. She's crying for lost baby and she will not rest until it is found. Bring peace to Miss Chan. Well, the what? I thought I had to talk to Groundskeeper Willie for this. Um, questions about eh? the Acropolis. Um, I guess there's nothing else to talk to him about. If I ever see a spirit. Huh. Maybe I should go back over there. I think I'm gonna go back over there and see if I can find that... Exploding headstones, inferior monk gem. I think I have to sell a bunch of stuff too. Ah, excellent! I have many items just waiting for you! Lightning gem. Mine plus three and 100% evade traps. There's nothing really I want to buy. Let me just sell my inferior stuff real quick. Um, closed fist, I don't need that. Closed fist, I don't need that. Um, irresistible spirit, inferior, don't need that. Soft pedal, strong arm. Lesser chance of health power ups, or of calm gem, superior intuition, good fortune, lucky hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably sell more later. I'll sell more later. Let me go into town real quick, because I need to tie up some loose ends there with the ghost quest, because they. I'm supposed to bring back somebody's wife, and I'm supposed to do I don't remember what else I'm supposed to do but there's there's more stuff in here I'm supposed to do for the ghosts um like you have to feed the ghosts uh oh, I already defeated them return to so for the rest all right so let's go back we need to go back to is this is this take us back to the market district yes good 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 and now we need to go find that wife Alright. Wife. A wife. 